I Bow, what's going on guys? I'm here. Back here again with another video. So a little dolo, you already know how I'm coming. Hi. Yo, what's wrong with the camera though? Alright, as you guys can see in the back, we have a new addition to the setup. You feel me? I I need to just realize that we're on 100k now and just Accept it. It doesn't feel real, but we're at 100k now with that being said this week I have a banger video coming out for you guys, which is the 100k video I am working on it as we speak. So please please stay tuned for that But yeah, man, that's basically where I've been now I ain't gonna lie to you guys because I did miss a few days I wanted to make it up to you guys, but only if you guys want it if you guys don't want it Then you know I'm not gonna do it. So basically I was thinking that I kind of did miss like a week's worth of reactions so what if I started uploading two videos a day on the reaction channel? I mean, one could be like a little bit earlier and then one could be maybe like when you guys get out of school or something, you know? Like one could be in the afternoon and one could be in the evening or, or morning and then afternoon. You know, we'll work it out. But if you guys would like two videos a day, is that something you'd be interested in? Then let me know down below and I'll get to work. I feel me? I'll work twice as hard, you feel me? Also, if you guys are subscribed to the main channel, you feel me? And you do love my content, then let me know down below what you guys would like to see on the main channel, you feel me? I know that we've been to the UK, we've linked up with a lot of UK drill rappers. We've linked up with a lot of New York drill rappers, but there's so many other rappers we can link up with or we could kind of switch the niche that we're in and go do something else. So I mean, it's kind of up to you guys at the end of the day what you guys want to watch. I'll create it for you guys, but just give me a few ideas for the main channel and we can do that. I'm not going to give it to you if you don't want it. But if you want it, I promise I'll give it to you. I I'm here to make it up to you guys and I'm really trying to go crazy 2024. We are going to be looking at the most hated rapper in the Bronx. Now you guys might see by the title and thumbnail who that rapper is, but I have linked up with them in real life before on the main channel. There's a video of me linking up with them, but I didn't really feel no most hated drill rapper vibe. So I wanted to really see why he's the most hated drill rapper. So yeah, let's get into today's video. I'm going to do too much talking. Shot EK, most hated rapper in the Bronx. Let's get into the video. <laughs> Bro. Let's get into this new video. New York drill is on the rise. Oh God, it started is. in Brooklyn when Bobby Schmurder dropped hot and back in 2014. Now, artists from the Bronx are on a come up with their own drill sound, and one of the artists leading the wave is a dude by the name of Shy E.K. Shy E.K. But more success means more problems, and Jiggy Man is making enemies with everyone. Jiggy Man, what's going on? Shy E.K. was born and raised in the Cortland Projects of the Bronx. The Bronx. Bro, that's where we from the bid. That's where we from the bid. There's a video on my channel that I linked up with Shy K and we were right here on that basketball court. That's in the city. And today, it's more dangerous than ever. Growing up, Shy K was surrounded by crime and violence and he jumped off the porch at just 13 years old. Yeah! 13? Rapper had to deal with some wild rumors. When he first started blowing up, where on the street was that he and his sister was both victims of a drive-by shooting. But in an interview, Shy said that the story was all cat. He and his sister both got shot, but he got hit a whole year before her and wasn't even with her when she got shot. But Wait, what the who? From using the info to diss some. I ain't gonna lie, bro. To be honest, if your sister got shot, I'll be on bad timing for the rest of my life. If somebody shot my sister, I don't have a sister, but if I did have a sister and somebody shot her, it would be over type shit. I'm a drill rapper, D Thang. D Thang, free D Thang. Who's making waves in the industry. He's from the YGs or Young Gunners, who are known to be for Shaw's crew. Shaw's I was gonna, OG, I was about to throw it up. Uh, the YGs and OGs used to be the same gang and ran the Cortland territory together. But then one of the founding members of the YGs crossed someone else in the crew, and they split off and formed the OGs. Shaw might be the most hated rapper in the Bronx right now, but the YGs are definitely the most hated gang. They known to be for everyone, oh, God. even blood relatives who rep other sets. D Thing is actually K Flock's cousin. Flock is from another Bro, I wouldn't even, I, I actually, bro, at first I was believing that shit. You guys let me know down below, but I don't believe they're actually cousins anymore. I think it was just a marketing, like, stunt. I don't think they're actually cousins. I don't care. You guys, if D-Thang tells me for himself, from his own mouth, that's when I'll believe it. Till then, says, nah. D-Thang is actually k Flock's cousin. Flock is from another Bronx gang called Sefside, who also Sefside. Like the YG. D-O-A, big D-O-A. D-Thang dropped a diss track called Talk Facts, where he sent shots at all his enemies, including Shy E.K., on the track, he raps. Jiggy Man dumbass got hit. That's word on my mother. They never do shit. Jiggy Man is Shy K's nickname, which is also the title of one of his most popular songs. Jiggy, Jiggy Man this. this. Jiggy Man. Jiggy Man that. Damn. So this bar is talking about the time Shy got shot, but never got payback. But this was actually a mild response to a line that Shy put out a few months before. On the track D&D &D with block work, Shy rap. There's a whole lot of ops I can smoke. 
But I'd rather just smoke out that lie, lie. Yo, 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 I'm an I'm a innocent civilian. Like, it's just a lyric. That's why I like saying it. But I promise I don't have anything to do with the dummy Delilah situation. Oh, God. A woman that d Thing was close friends with. In March 2021, she was shot in the head in an abandoned apartment complex that was a known gang spot. She wasn't affiliated with any sets, but a lot of her friends were. It was pretty she was shot in the head. This line, Shaw proved that nothing was off limits in Bronx Drill. Shaw and d Thing's beef looked like it could escalate at any moment. But then D-Thing got picked up by the police oh, God. and was facing a weapons possession charge. On November 11th, 2021, D-Thing and his homies got pulled over. The cops found a pistol with the serial number scratched off. So D-Thing got booked on second degree weapons possession. With D-Thing and k Flock And D-Thing, D-Thing, K-Flock locked up. But now D-Thing is out, nigga. And K-Flock is serving two murder charges, which I just found out yesterday on oh, God, that's crazy. Number scratched off. So D-Thing got booked on second degree weapons possession. With D-Thing and K-Flock both locked up, the drill scene in the Bronx is almost wide open for someone to claim the top spot. Shy E.K. plans on taking the crown for himself. But with all the beef he has in the city, there's a lot of people who want to see him fail. Even those he used to be cool with have turned against him. He used to rock with another rapper from Portland named B-Love. B-Love? Oh, originally introduced oh, him to shit. WB and K. Wait, Park. I thought Shy E.K. and B-Love with Loki is still tight though. They are. I, I saw them drop a song like recently. That's like some 150 shit, right? He used to rock with another rapper from Cortland and be love So I, bought, I know more than this nigga knows on the set, bro. Stop playing with my boss. Welcome to Dougie B and K-Flock. K-Flock is one of the hottest Bronx rappers out right now. Even though he just started dropping music. One of the biggest, K one of the biggest, one of the hottest rappers out right now, but he's not out. Shut the fuck up. Idiot. Idiot. Be love who originally introduced him to Dougie B and K-Flock. K Flock is one of the hottest Bronx rappers out right now. don't even know he's talking about. Even though he just started dropping music a few months ago, he's already buzzing in the city. But right now, he's locked up on a murder charge for allegedly killing a dude in Harlem back Bruh! in the day. Shy K was cool with all of them back in the day. Oh, free K Flock, bro. A few tracks, but free Street Positive got in the way. Now they on separate sides. No one knows exactly what went down that caused the split, because none of them want to talk about it publicly. Fans and interviewers have pressed Shaw to speak on it, but he just says there's no real problems, and then niggas know what it is. He was also friends with another Bronx Bro, rapper, I would have said, Bronx imagine if K Flock, Shy K was still friends. I don't even know if the drill scene would be as big, because I don't think that this is, that this is what made New York drill big, and without the disses, then there would be no back and forth beef, which I, I don't think the numbers would have been pushing as much. People like to be entertained by beef, bro. They collab track D and D is Shaw's most popular song on Spotify with over four million plays. <laughs> Something happened and now they beefing. It ain't clear why they're not cool no more. But a few months ago, Shaw hopped on IG Live to hear Block work out. He said, "You a bum ass gonna break your fucking face. D and D is dumb trash. You bum ass." Yo. Best track. Then Shaw challenged him to link up, but it don't seem like anything happened outside of social media. Then wait, how is saying D and D's ass track, Bruh, He's on D and D. He said. You a fucking bum ass gonna break your fucking face. D and D is dumb trash. You bum ass. That's your best track. Then Shaw challenged him to link up, but it don't seem like anything happened outside of social media. Then the dude who manages block work claimed Shaw E K was signed to him, but Shaw went on IG Live again and said it was all cap. In the same video, he called out all of his ops and he bro, this is the video, bro. I don't know if you guys see this video where he's like, go get. Back. That's the same video. It's like, like the red fucking tech, the orange puffer jacket. This is the same video. He called out all of his ops and even started dissing the dead. <laughs> he screamed about his old homie Dougie B getting shot in the leg. Dougie B got shot in the leg. What the? Damn. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Dougie B got shot in the leg. Then said, "Free flock. All your this music doing bad now. Free flock. Need him. Free flock." We well, have music's doing bad now. <laughs> said he's gonna be smoking on Flock when they do free him, and then he's gonna be the fifth dead DOA member of the yeah! the name for Flock set. What the Flock got beaten, but free him because you know what we're gonna do. Yo, you know why you want to free him. But this, you heard? He's gonna be the fifth dead DOA member. We took him on. Flock work, hop on Instagram Damn. to respond. He told Shy, go get a new fucking coat. You a bum ass. Bruh! Shaw was notorious for wearing the same orange Montclair coat all the time, and block work ain't the only. So I ain't gonna lie, that's motion right there. I ain't gonna lie, like, bro, if I had an orange puffer, I'm gonna lie, I have one Montclair jacket. I wear that bitch all the time, and shit drips. So like, I don't blame him. I ain't gonna lie, I don't blame him. Block work then told him, your sister got shot. You ain't do nothing to the eye. Bruh! You really a. Bro, Block Work like, is the number one instigator, I ain't gonna lie. Like, he just love instigating beef, don't you, Block Work? You do. You really a Like, you be selling her That got only fans and all that. So never come out your mouth talking about my moms and my sister. Bro! I like that. 
You need to get back for your sister. How you gonna touch another nigga's sister? When I see you, you better have the same energy. Don't ever come out your mouth talk my mom, mom's my sister, cause you not even like that nigga. How you gonna? You need to get back for your sister. Your sister. How you gonna touch another nigga's sister? You go for my mother. Now when I see you, nigga, you better have the same energy. Shaw also implied in the interview. Oh, Koei, Koei in the cut. Let's talk in the town. Why? They're not cool no more. But there's rumors that it's got Shaw ain't paid block work for his feature on D and D. Bruh. Nobody knows the full story, but whatever happened must have been pretty serious for the situation to get bad so quickly. Shaw also says he's responsible for block work, even having a career. But now that they got issues, ah! everything they say. Shaw ain't even start off as a drill rapper. He, was he said, nigga, I put you on my back and carried you to the fucking finish line, nigga. Shaw ain't even start off as a drill rapper. He was always interested in music, but never really took it seriously. Back in the day, he would freestyle with B-Love and other dudes from the block. But he only started taking music seriously as a career when he lost some close friends. After he lost a few homies to the streets, Shaw said it made him focus in and find a way out. He recorded a couple of tracks under the he name Man, but they never really popped off. At first, he was using auto-tune style, but when he started using his naturally raw and aggressive voice oh, nah. to lay down hard drill bars, people started paying attention. One of the wildest things about Shaw E.K. is that he's still an active high school student. He's currently a junior right now and still goes to school. Wait, what the fuck? Wait, hold on. No, 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 no. This video has to be old. There's no way that this nigga is still a junior in high school, bro. What the f- So he's 16, 17. Hold no, when I met him, on, I'm pretty sure he was 18, so this video has to be old, bro. Drop out to hustle in the streets or the studio. But it seems like Sha wants to do it all. A lot of fans are worried about him being seen in the same place every day where the ops know his location. But Sha ain't even Bro, they not on shit. My nigga is the most play. hated, bro. You're not touching my nigga, bro. Message that he ain't afraid to live his life. Oh, my God. Months ago, it looked like Shaw was having some issues with a label deal he signed when he was 16. He posted Bruh. an Instagram story that said, Free me out this bad deal. When I signed it, I ain't have a lawyer. N collecting money off my music. Bruh. Record labels are notorious, taking advantage of young artists who don't know any better. Taking it and bread. it looked like the same thing was happening to Shaw E.K. Then, in March 2022, he posted an Instagram story showing off 40K in cash. His homie posted about him getting signed to a new deal, but as of right now, no one knows the details. Damn! He's also dropping new music. Damn, I ain't gonna lie, that was all blues. That was all blues. Deal, but as of right now, that... It, it, that might be 50 details. Bands. I go like, He's also blues. dropping new music and still dissing his ops. On his latest track, Don't Forget That, he opens up a verse with smoking on Sea High, We Don't Give a F***. Shaw's talking about a Bronx drug. What the hell, bro? See, what is he? Oh, yeah, I, I forgot that, that Sharky don't He's like still dissing his ops. On his latest track, Don't Forget That, he opens up a verse with smoking on Sea High, We Don't Give a F***. Shaw's talking about a Bronx drill rapper named C. High Watts who was shot and killed outside a music studio in February. C. High was an 18-year-old Bronx native who was affiliated with K-Flock and Dougie B, but it ain't clear if Shaw actually had beef with C. High or if he just dissed him to get I think he just dissed him to get some numbers. He wanted to send a message. Oh, Shaw E.K. is making a name for himself in the industry, but he's also making a lot of yeah, enemies. Yeah, man. Luckily, he recognizes how dangerous the Bronx is and wants to make it out. Too many rappers get rich and stay in their hood, then end up getting killed on their own block by ops. But Shaw says that he knows sticking around. Bro, look how skinny this nigga is. Skinny ass Shaw EK, bro. What the fuck? Bro, la 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 la. Skill on their own block. Shaw says. Bro, look how skinny this nigga is. Bro, this nigga's skinnier than me, bro. How are you skinny? What the hell? No. This nigga's skinnier than me, bro. What the hell, bro? It's like Skellington, bro. It's not Shaw EK. This is Skellington EK on God. Nigga, what's wrong with this anorexic nigga? EK, bro, eat some food, nigga. Like, I'm sticking around. What the? Some more issues. So he's getting out once his career takes off. With this new record deal he signed, maybe he'll get out of the Bronx before all the beef catches up to him. The Bronx real scene is starting new to blow up right now. Unlocked. But some of his most popular artists are going at it and getting locked up left and right. Hopefully, Shy EK can stay focused on his music before he ends up in a situation like K Flock or D Thing. Bruh. He's got so many problems with people from his own. EK's still free. And it may be tough to leave the streets alone for good. I mean, I guess it kind of explains why he's the most hated because he basically has no friends and he's by himself. But I ain't gonna lie, I really feel like EK's career is like one of the best careers in the Bronx because he hasn't been locked up for like a year plus. I mean, every other drill rapper gets locked up in their career for like a year, two years, three years. I mean, K Flock's whole career is gone now. D 
D-Thang was locked up for like three, no, two years, three years, I think. But yeah, well, my point being said is Shy K is probably one of the only ones that's had a solid career and stayed out of jail the whole time. I mean, I think he's gone in and come out a couple times, but for no more than like a week or two type shit. He might have the most hated career, but probably has one of my favorite careers in New York right now, I go like, at least the path that he took. But yeah, if you guys want more videos like this, I would definitely be down to check them out. I feel like these are entertaining to watch and stuff. So if you guys enjoy them, let me know down below and we can check some more out. If there's other ones that you want me to check out, other rappers or stuff like that, then let me know down below. But apart from that, I hope you enjoyed the video. But yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Like, swipe, scroll. All this internet beef getting old. Fuck a rumor on what you been told. Like, ski mask up and it ain't even cold. Real life, these niggas just fold. But on socials, everyone's bold. Who's that? Put a nigga on hold. I'm coming for every single internet troll. Little niggas just ruin the net. I'd say, I wonder who's next. I swear your man's got B in his. I swear your man's got B in his chest.